This is a lesson on using mental math to multiply. So we're going to be working with uh, mostly two digit numbers times one digit numbers now. And so we're going to be looking at how we could do these in our heads to figure them out. Um, we'll be writing down the steps on paper to show our thinking, but the idea here is to eventually be able to do these types of problems in your head using the steps that we write down. So um, the first method that you can use is um, you can break the number into smaller parts. So the, the number in this case being the uh, two digit number. So in this case of the example here we've got 15 times 7. So that might be difficult to do in my head. So what I can do is break 15 into two smaller parts that are easier to work with. And um, so I know 15 is 5 plus 10 right here. And I really like multiplying by 5 and by 10 because it's easy in my head. So um, we're going to multiply 5 by 7 and 10 by 7 and then add those together. So that will give us um, 5 times 7 and 10 times 7. Notice 5 plus 10 is 15. That's where I got that. Okay, so first of all, 5 times 7 is 35, and then 10 times 7, that is 70. And then all I need to do is um, multiply these two numbers together, uh, th or not multiply, sorry, add these two numbers together, which is 35 plus 70. And um, 35 plus 70, that's not too difficult to do in my head either, that's 105. So that means that 15 times 7 equals 105. Um, the next step, or not step, strategy that we can use is um, we can use halving and doubling. So, um, in this case, if you have one factor and then um, you half it and then you double the other factor, you'll get the same answer as the original numbers that you got, that you had. Okay, so for example, 514 times 5. Um, that might be, I could probably skip count by fives to get 14, but an easier strategy might to, might be to go um, half of 14 and double 5, because half of 14 is easy to do in my head, that's 7, and uh, doubling 5 is easy also, that's 10. Now 10, multiplying by 10 is extremely easy to do in our heads, so all I'd have to go is 7 times 10, uh, which equals 70, and that's the same as going 14 times 5, which is 70. So if you have a number that is 5, um, and it's paired with an even number, so that it, you can find the, a half of it, then I recommend using this strategy for that question. Okay, and the last strategy for this lesson is um, using compatible numbers and compensation, and you would use this when one factor is close to a multiple of uh, 10 or 100. So this is my example. So I have 198 times 5. Now 198 is very, very close to 200. And 200 is a multiple of 100. So um, here's how I would do that. So if I have uh, 198, that is really close to 200. So we could find 200 times 5, and then we could subtract 2 times 5, right? Because I need to find 198 groups of 5. So if I find 200 groups of 5 and then subtract those two extra groups of 5, then I'll find my answer. So 200 times 5 is 2 times 5 of 10, and then I put those two zeros on the end. Okay, then I've got 2 times 5 is 10, so I've got 200 groups of 5, and then I need to take away 2 groups of 5. So 1,000 minus 10 is 990. And that's my answer. I've got 198 times 5, and that should equal 990. Let's check to make sure that that's right on our calculator. Um, 198 times 5, that equals 990. So you can see that that works, that strategy, but it has to be groups that you're taking away. Okay, um, I could not go 200 times 3, though, because that's a completely different answer, right? So I'll show you 200 
times 3, well, that's 600. That's nowhere near 990, right? So you can take groups of something away, but you cannot just add to something and subtract to another unless you're having and doubling. Okay, so those are the, the strategies. So what, so what you need to do is um, practice. So these numbers, um, you're going to use the various strategies to solve them. And so we've got 23 times 9, we've got 5 times 18, and we've got 97 times 4. So we're going to practice each of the strategies once. So pause the video right now. Try the, th the three questions, and once you get it, or if you get stuck, then watch the watch the video, and it'll and you'll follow along with that. Okay, so pause right now, and then we'll go through it once you're done. All right, so now that you've uh, finished your three questions, let's go through this. So we've got the first question of twenty-three times nine. Now our first strategy, if you recall, was to, oops, too far, break the number into smaller parts. So if I wanted to break 23 into smaller parts, I could break it into 20, why isn't this working? Here we go, uh, 20 and three, right? 20 plus three is 23, so 20 times nine, I need 20 groups of 9 and 3 groups of 9. That's not too hard to do in your head, right? Uh, if, I, if I go 9 times 2 is 18 and put that 0 on the end, 180. And then 9 times 3, um, you might use one of those hand tricks that we learned or magic 9 tricks. Um, but either way, it's going to equal 27. Okay, and then all we need to do is add those two numbers together. So 7 plus 0 is 7, 8 plus 2 is 10, carry the 1 over, and then 1 plus that carried over 1 is 2. So let's check on our calculator, make sure that we got that right. 180 times 27, oh whoops, sorry, don't know what I'm doing, 23 times 9 equals 207. So we got it right. Yay! Next one, we've got 5 times 18. So this one, we could use the having and doubling because we've got a 5 and we've got um, an even number. So if I double 5 to 10 and then I go half of 18, which is 9, that's easy to do in my head. 10 times 9 is 90. Now we can check that over. We can go 5 times 18, and certainly that equals 90. So we're on the right track again. And finally, we've got 97 times 4. 97 is really close to 100. So if I go 100 groups of 4, and then I subtract the three extra groups I added on there, I will get my answer. So 100 times 4 is 400, and then I just need to take 12 away from that. Now, if you would like to do borrowing, then you could do that, or you could do it in your head. Now, if you can do it in your head, then um, you probably don't need to see this in the first place. So I will borrow. I will show the strategy that's more visual. So 4 needs to give the 0 here, a 1, or to make it 10. And then the 10 here needs to give this 0 1. So 10 turns into 9, 0 turns into 10. Now I can, I can solve 10 minus 2 is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8, and 3. Now if I were to do this in my head, like I said before, I could think 400 and then I could think 10 less than that. 10 less than 400 would be 390. And then I still didn't take the 2 away. So 2 less than 90 is 88. So I would get 388. And that makes sense here that I did this wrong. Not a 9. 10 minus 2 is not 9. It is 10. I know you caught me before I caught me. So good job. So my answer should be 388. Let's check. 
97 times 4 equals 388. So we've got it correct. Okay, so your assignment today is at the bottom of the page here. It is page 90 to 91, numbers 3 to 5, 7, and 11.